Hello. Welcome to Module 7, Lesson 2. Something I'd like to take a moment to show you before we begin. This is our lesson slide. And what I would like to show you about our lesson slide is that there is a link to a measurement conversion chart, okay? When you click on that, it opens up a page that looks like this, okay? If we were in our classroom, we would have a poster up on our wall with this information for us to refer to all the time. Okay, so I suggest, and I wrote this here in our lesson, I suggest that you either print this if you have a printer, or if you don't, please write them down so that you can look at them while you are working. Okay, we will use this information for all of module seven. So again, this information, okay, over the next few days, we will become familiar, <clears throat> excuse me, become familiar, and ideally, you start to memorize this information, okay? Because if you don't know it, it will slow you down on the problems because you'll be referring back to this information a lot, okay? So the steps, this would be our previous video, but just showing you that there are going to be two videos for a couple lessons here because there is a practice sheet, okay? So you'll have the practice sheet video, then you will have your lesson problem set video, and then you will do your homework, okay? So today in lesson two, we are focused on capacity. I wanna take a moment to explain this over here. So I'm actually going to draw it here. Now in your, uh, in your module seven workbook, you open to lesson two. I believe it starts on page nine. If you go, well, actually go to page seven because that is the practice sheet. Okay, you can find a little space there or on page eight, it says this page intentionally left blank. So I would suggest on your page eight is where you are going to draw this. Okay, so when we're talking about capacity, you're talking about how much will something hold, okay? How much water will the cup hold? How much juice will the pitcher hold? How much gasoline will your car gas tank hold, okay? We're talking about how much will something hold. So a lot of times we use gallons to talk about how much something will hold. I'm drawing a big giant G because that is where this starts. You'll see back here, oops, that that has a big giant G and so that is what I am starting with, okay? So we're starting with one gallon. I'm writing it with the shortened term, one gal, that means one gallon. Then we have, in one gallon, we have four quarts. So I'm gonna go ahead and draw four big cues, okay? So again, this is what I'm going for, that one big G, and then it has the four pink quarts. I like how that is color-coded, that's pretty cool. So then next, in one gallon, so one gallon equals four quarts. Four quarts then equals, inside of each quart, there are two pints. Okay, so one, come on. Oh dear. Should be an eight. There we go. So one gallon equals four quarts and equals eight pints. Then there's one more. Okay, there you can see the green pints. And then you see teeny tiny in there, maybe a bluish green. You see cups, okay? Each pint has two cups. 
So I'm going to give that here, CC inside of each pint. Okay, so one gallon, here's where I'm starting. One gallon equals four quarts equals eight pints equals 16 cups. Now all of this is just for the one gallon. Okay, what we're going to see on the practice page in just a moment is that one gallon equals four quarts. And then we're going to see that one quart equals two pints. And then we're going to see that one pint equals two cups. Okay, so there's tons of information packed into just this one drawing. I can look at the whole gallon, or I can look at it by little pieces, okay? So over here would be little pieces. So for example, if I want to know one pint, I would look here at just, let's see, let me change colors if I can, if it will let me. I'm going to look just here at one pint. Okay, now go away. There we go. One pint equals, I'm going to look at just one pint, so one of the letter P, and I'm going to see that it has two C's inside of it for two pints, okay? Or, let's say I want to know one quart, so I'm going to look at just one quart, and inside that one quart, I'm looking at how many pints are there. There's one and there's two, so one quart equals two pints. This is what we will be practicing today as we jump over to our practice sheet. So please go ahead and join me on your practice sheet. I believe this is page seven in your workbook. I'm gonna go ahead at the top and draw that one more time. This time I'm going to, oh, I create a copy. Well, let's do that. All right, here we go. Try that again. So one gallon, I'm gonna change colors to, let's go with red, four quarts. One, two, three, four. Now the more you draw this, the more familiar you will be and the easier it will be to memorize, okay? So today, the purpose is just to become familiar. I'm trying to draw my colors. Today, the purpose is just to become familiar. The more we work with this, the more it will become memorized. Okay, so here we go. Starting with letter A, one gallon equals, so my gallon is the big black one. And then the quarts are my red ones. How many quarts are in one gallon? I could use this drawing. I could also go back to my customary measurement conversion page. And here it tells me one gallon equals four quarts. So I can go ahead and use that information. Two gallons then will equal eight. Three gallons, so I'm taking that number, times four. Three times four equals 12. Go ahead and complete the rest of that chart. Come back in just a moment for the answers. All right, so there it says the rule for converting gallons to quarts is one gallon equals four quarts. On over to letter B, quarts are to pints. So again, I could use my drawing. The quarts are the big red ones and the pints are the green ones. So inside of one quart, there are how many pints? There are two. So one quart equals two pints. Now I can go back to my conversion chart, and I can double check, and right there it does say one quart equals two pints. So 
So again, go ahead and complete this chart. And then the rule for converting quarts to pints is one quart equals two pints. If you need to check your answers, it's like you're just counting by twos. Two, four, six, eight, 10, 12, 14, 16, 18, 20. All right, moving on down. Letter C, pints to cups. I'm gonna go back up, pints to cups. So inside of one pint, that is the green, how many cups are inside of just one pint? There are two purple cups inside of the one green pint. If you would like to check your answers, you could go look at the customary measurement conversion chart where it says one pint equals two cups. All right, so again, it's just like you're counting by twos. So at the end there, you should get to 20. The rule for converting pints to cups is one pint equals two cups. There we have it, okay? So then, letter D, this is where it really comes in handy. I'm gonna go ahead and draw it again because again, the more times you draw it, the more familiar you become and the more likely you are to remember it. All right, each quart has two pints and then each side of each pint, I'm gonna change the color just so it doesn't get lost in there. It has two C's inside of each pint. All right, back to black for my answers. One gallon equals how many pints? So we're looking at the whole gallon and how many pints are inside of that? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. There are eight pints inside of one gallon. Now I could also do it by saying, okay, I'm gonna take one gallon, turn it into quarts, and then turn it into pints. So one gallon times four equals four quarts times two, equals, that's a funny eight, but it equals eight pints, okay? So we could do it either way with math or with a picture. All right, one quart equals how many cups? So here I'm going to look at one quart equals, first I'm going to change it to pints, and then I'm going to change it to cups. That's if I'm doing it the math way. If I'm doing it the picture way, then I would focus on one quart, so I'm just focusing on one of these. And then how many cups are inside of there? One, two, three, four. There are four cups there. Let's go ahead and look down here. So one quart, one quart equals two pints. So I'm gonna take that times two. One times two equals two. And then changing into pints to cups, that's again times two. Two times two equals four, four cups. All right, here's the biggest one. I'm gonna change to green for this one. One gallon equals how many cups? So I'm going through all the steps this time. I can focus here on the whole gallon. There are one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16. There are 16 cups. That's using the picture. If I'd like to do it with numbers, scroll down a little bit. Okay, I'm gonna start with one gallon. I'm gonna turn that into quarts, which I will turn into pints, which I will finally turn into cups. So one gallon equals four quarts. So I'm gonna take this times four, four quarts. One quart equals two pints. So I'm gonna take this times two. Four quarts times two equals eight pints. One pint equals two cups. So I'm gonna take this times two. 
Eight times two equals 16 cups. Whew. All right. This was the practice sheet. We will do the problem set in another video. I'll see you over there very soon.